This doesn't have to be big or clever. It doesn't even have to be creative. You just have to enjoy it. If you're just shoving food in your face just because you want food in your face, you're not really enjoying it. Hello and welcome to High Time, the cookery show where we make stuff you can probably already make, but we right the wrongs of the world while we're doing it. We've had a sandwich and we've had like a, like a pasta dish, so I think it's time to throw something sweet into the mix. We're doing sweet nachos, sweet dessert nachos. You might be thinking that, that, that sweet nachos is a bit of a weird thing, like why would a man such as myself put time and effort into sweet nachos? It's not very manly you might say. Well I say it's more manly to be in touch with your sweet, uh, softer side. So uh, I'm making uh, macho nachos. Huh? <laughs> because getting in touch with your, with your softer, more sweeter side makes you even more manly. They're mucho macho nachos. Huh? <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't expecting something like this. I don't know why week. he wasn't expecting it. But my name is Ma. His name is Ulton. Hi. <laughs> it's high time you made something sweet. This is very, very simple. Anyone can do this, regardless of your level of competency or consciousness, you can do these. All I have is just some, some tortilla wraps. Now, I'm not gonna go making tortilla wraps, right? Because let's face it, who wants to do that? Nobody. So I just went out and I bought some, just, just, just simple flour tortilla wraps, and I'm gonna cut them up into nacho shapes. That's all we're gonna do, we're gonna deep fry them, we're gonna drain them, and we're gonna toss them in, in some sweet seasoning. Now what have we got? Cinnamon sugar, which, believe it or not, contains cinnamon and sugar. And then we've also got sweet chocolate dust, which is just powdered cocoa and powdered sugar mixed in together. If you haven't got them, by the way, what works as well is like one of those instant hot chocolate drinks, because they're just chocolate and sugar. That's the chips taken care of. But you need to have something to dip them into. So I've made nacho style themed sweet dips. This is a salted chocolate mousse. It's whipped cream and melted chocolate. Then twist the salt. That, that's all it is. It's that simple. Then we've got for the guacamole, we've got cream whipped with some vanilla essence. And I've turned it green with some simple green food colouring. I've got green dots in my fingers to prove it. This is the mean green vanilla cream. <laughs> he wasn't expecting that one either. And then, in a substitute for the, the nacho cheese dipping sauce, I've got some custard. And I've coloured it with a deeper yellow, with the yellow food colouring. It's, um, well, it's custard, folks. I don't have a pun for it. <laughs> for those of you who have more of a healthy mind, are like, oh great, you're gonna deep fry something, cover it in chocolate and dip it in sugar. Here is a strawberry salsa. A strawberry salsa is made with the freshest of strawberries and a questionably fresh strawberry yogurt. So I've got oil on. The oil has to come up to a certain temperature. It should probably be about 180 degrees Celsius, whatever that is in American. Why doesn't everyone just use like, like, like the same measurements. I mean, I know I know how much a foot is because it's 30 centimeters. Because in school, your ruler is, is, is a foot or 30 centimeters. The yard is like three feet or three and a bit. And then you have liquid measurements, like 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 a cup. Like how much is a cup? <laughs> I don't have time to be going on conversion and stuff. Probably alienating a lot of people right here. <laughs> so nachos, so we're gonna put them in for you. We're not gonna fry a lot of them together because we want them to get crispy. We want them to get those, those kind of curls that sort of pick up what we're dipping into. So we're gonna do a few at a time. I'd say five or six at a time is probably loads. Yeah, just there now. So that's just gonna just dip them in one by one. Give them a bit of space to, to get crispy. Just kind of move them around, make sure they got covered in oil. You want a nice golden color on them. Oh, by the way, this is how they make nachos in the factory. You got an overweight ball dude standing over one single pot. And his whole job all day is just to flip tortilla chips. He gets like four bags a day made. That's why they're so expensive. That's why you only get like four chips in the bag in the big bag of air. Is that a fact? No, it's not a fact. <laughs> How uneconomical would it be to have <laughs> one dude making four bags of chips a day? The flip them over, we got a nice colour under here now. Like they don't take long. I'd say, I'd say like, like two minutes each. These are looking nice. I'm gonna take these out. We're gonna drain them on the oil. While they're drying off, we're gonna get some more in. We're gonna do two flavours. Two flavours with the sprinkly seasoning, the cinnamon sugar and the sweet cocoa. So the temperature of that oil has come up a little bit, so that they're gonna do a little bit quicker. And these, we we'll get them in here. And the sugar. These are ideal for uh, for parties, uh, christenings, communions, divorces, weddings, 
Bar mitzvahs. What's a bar mitzvah? Coming of age ceremony for um, Jewish boys. Oh, so it's like it's like Jew communion. Yeah. Communion. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh <God. laughs> he wasn't expecting communion. <laughs> so these are fried a little bit quicker. I'm gonna get these ones out. You know, some people may say, and they may have already said, that what we're doing is not big and, 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 and clever food. And to that I say, you're dead right. Food doesn't have to be big or clever. It doesn't even have to be creative. You just have to enjoy it. If you're just shoving food in your face, just because you want food in your face, you're not really enjoying it. Doesn't matter what it is, but it's just something simple like, like a sweet nachos, or a pasta, or a sandwich. Do it right and enjoy it. Let's get these ones out that have been thrown in there as well. And we're going to put the, uh, the sweet cocoa on these ones. Bring them here. But I, I, suppose, I suppose what I'm trying to say is I'm quite proud of what we do here. It's simple, it's fun, it's tasty. No matter what your skill level is, anyone can make these. That's our whole message, you can do that. Look at that, sweet nachos, they're done. Some cinnamon sugar nachos, some sweet cocoa nachos with a vanilla cream dip, salted chocolate mousse dip, some strawberry dip, and some sweet custard dip. And there we go, that's all it is. So there you have it, sweet nachos. Very simple. Uh, let us know down in the comments uh, if you'd make them any differently or uh, what you wanted to see us make next. Thanks very much to everyone who's watched and subscribed so far and shared the video, it really, really helped us out. If you like this video, hit a thumbs up. If you really like what we do, hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification so you know when the videos go live. Uh, we'd really appreciate it, it, just, it helps us out so much. Um, the response we've had so far has is, is, is been great and uh, it's really encouraging, so thanks so much. But uh, it's probably high time we tried these, Ulton. Yeah! Let's do it! Which one to go with first? I don't know, I think I think I have to go with the cinnamon one first. That's the cinnamon one. Okay. Okay. Mm. That on its own. That on its own. It's a treat that's hard to beat. I'm gonna go straight in for the main green banana cream. I'm gonna go with the chocolate. You made that. I made that. Whipped cream, chocolate, sea salt. This is going straight to my thighs. Can't bait a bit of custard. We can only have to make one, like a taco, fill it with everything and try and eat it. You need something substantial in it. Like a meat? Yeah. Sweet meat. Like, like, well, like actual meat. Oh. In a sweet taco? Minced beef. Oh, he lost me. <laughs> layer of minced beef, saute with onions. You want custard. <laughs> layer of ladyfingers. Layer of jam. Another layer of minced beef, saute with mushrooms and, and onions. What's not to like? <laughs> Tastes like beef. <laughs> yeah.